Hi everyone, Richie from Internal Force Fitness here. Next in our series of vintage exercise booklets and fitness courses is this short course that came from George F. Jowett's Body Sculpture Club back in the 1950s and it's called Commando Offensive Defensive Tactics Simplified. It's starting to fade with age a little as you can see but it's still perfectly legible. Nice little personalised note to say that it was presented free with the compliments of the Body Sculpture Club. I don't usually read whole sections, but I'm just going to read this first one because it really encapsulates everything that I love about vintage fitness courses and vintage fitness copy. The famous commandos of the Allied forces in the late war were the toughest men on two feet. They were graduates of the original commando system as taught by expert Allied commandos and so became demons in combat. How are these commandos produced? First, they are superbly trained physically to a degree that makes muscles and sinew in their bodies as tough as whalebone. This enables them to withstand the most extraordinary hardships without fatigue. When such a body is coupled with the offensive defence tactics, its owner is utterly fearless and woe betide the assailant who clashes with them, for he just can't win. The object of the Body Sculpture Club is to make you just like them, commando tough, so that you too can step out into the world with a superbly built body and with the invincible ability to protect yourself against any foe, regardless of his size. Now, Jowett literally doesn't pull any punches with this course, so much so that he emphasises that the methods are only to be used in an emergency, i.e. when attacked by thugs, although he does also call them plug-uglies. Uh, we move on to the simple natural methods of offensive defence, including the KO throat chop, the paralysing coat trick, how to break a kicking thug's leg, how you can disarm a gunman by breaking his arm, how you can beat the strangler, how to disarm a knifer, how to defeat a foe on the ground, how to break the leg of a fallen foe, and the leg bar and foot twist. We finish with my favourite part of the course, the illustrations. As an illustrator myself, although some people might call these crude, I think they're almost fitness folk art, to be honest. As a usable self-defence course, I think it has some merit, but just let me emphasise as well that these methods would have to be used as a last resort. A fully formatted PDF reproduction is available from the Internal Force Fitness website, link in the description below. All proceeds go to preserving these things and trying to get them a new audience. See you next time.